ladies and gentlemen, Cameron Stewart calling in here from the uh, Southern Motorway. For those of you that don't know me, as I just said, my name's Cameron Stewart, I'm 32 years old. Um, I'm a, a real estate investor, consultant, uh, developer, network marketer. Um, been uh, doing the online video thing for oh, eight or nine months now, so been going for a while. And you'll see in the title of my I know there'll be a lot of people lying in bed this morning looking on Facebook, but I had a big night last night watching the rugby. Uh, big night, probably got a sore head after a few tubes, a few beers. They've been there, I've been there, been there many times before. Um, I'm doing dry July, so I feel spot on. Uh, no headache for me this morning, but as you'll see in the title of this video, and this is going to get a bit of criti criticism, I would imagine, is uh, in New Zealand, we are a fanatical, fanatical country as far as rugby union is concerned, and the, actually sports in general, you know, the America's Cup, the All Blacks, you know, the, the Super 15, our, we have a great sporting heritage, or we're very passionate about what we, uh, our, our, our national game and, and what we do. Sorry if the noises are, the video's a bit uh, bad, it's absolutely pouring down here. Um, but what I wanted to just uh, put across in this video is most people, like myself, for many years, spent so much time putting all my effort, all my time into footy, you know, going to all these games, going to uh, yeah, all these sporting events, whatever. And which is awesome because it's good to go to these things, but most people spend more time focusing on a, a game which they're not even playing instead of focusing on their own life and what they can actually achieve on their own instead of, you know, see, so what, what I'm getting at is most people spend so much of their life cheering other people on in life, whether it be the All Blacks, whether it be another sporting team, uh, you know, it might be uh, someone who's in business and the social media work or whatever, they'll worship or they'll put all the effort and focus into what someone else is, in, is doing in their life instead of actually focusing on what they can do on their own. And look, I'm not trying to be a party pooper here and say don't go and watch the rugby, don't go and, uh, you know, do these things. But what I'm getting at is most people put so much time and effort into a rugby game or supporting the competition or whatever, and they absolutely put nothing into what? Changing their family's life, changing their financial future. See, the rugby's always going to be there. The sports are always going to be there. The hobby's always going to be there. But unless you know, unless you go out there and do something over and above what you're doing right now. So, for example, a lot of people can earn a six-figure income using their evenings and their weekends outside of their current income, and then create an, a, a, you know, a lifestyle where you can travel the world. You can go to Japan to the World Cup. You can go and do this. You can go and do that. But most people will never go be able to go over to Japan or go overseas and support the All Blacks and do all this other stuff because they they put so much time and they spend money that they don't have going to Lions and All Blacks games here in, uh, in New Zealand or travelling around and using their credit card to pay for their little stopgap uh, stop excitement. You know, so there's been the Lions tour here. It's been awesome, by the way. I've watched all the games. A uh, bit of a disappointing result last night. Uh, with the draw, so I am a supporter, I am a passionate rugby supporter as well, but, you know, it's 9.30 in the morning, I'm off to do something in business for my future and for the future family that I have, so that I can live a life of abundance later on, but see, most people will be waking up this morning hungover as hell, unproductive, they'll waste their whole Sunday, and what I'm getting at, it's not about me, I'm just saying... Most people will moan about on Monday morning that they don't have any money, they're living from week to week, they're living from pay to pay, year to year, on a treadmill going nowhere, but in the weekends they spend all their time watching the rugby or going and riding their dirt bikes or whatever the case may be. And like I've said, I love to do all of that stuff too, and the reason why I go the extra mile right now and go out and do the stuff on the weekends or do it in the evenings or whatever, or go the extra mile, is because so I can go and do those things more. But the thing is with most people, they spend all their time on their hobby, so much time on their sport, whatever, and if they just put that to the sideline for a little bit, their whole results in life would change. But no one's willing to sacrifice anything. And I think coming from New Zealand, we are just so, so passionate about sport. And I am too. I love I love the rugby. Yeah, look, exactly correct. You're hungover and useless, you know. 
and that's the problem. I've been there, I did it for years. Waking up on a Saturday morning or a Friday morning or uh, Sunday morning and just being hung over as hell. Even, you know, during the weeks and, and it's just un, it's an unproductive use of time. You can't you can't be efficient in your case, Kurt, as a real estate agent if you're hung over. You can't be effective in selling a property or doing whatever it is that you're doing when you're hung over. And the thing is, time and mind freedom, the dream, that's it. You know, that's it in there. And it's not like I'm saying, don't go and support the rugby, don't go and support your... What I'm get, trying to get at is here, we are so fanatical about a game. We're not even on the bloody field. Look, I, I, am a, I, I scream and yell at the TV just as much as everyone else, okay? Or at the game, if I go to the game. But what I'm getting at is there's a lot of people out there that are moaning about their current situation. Oh, I don't have enough money. I don't have enough time. You know, this and that. But what are they doing on the weekends? As soon as Friday comes around, what do they do? They get on the piss. Saturday, they get on the piss. They, 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 they do two days of drinking. And the whole weekend's gone. Then they're back to the grind on the Monday. And then they moan about it. Now, if you're watching this video, you might not moan about uh, your job or your business or whatever it is that you do. Not everyone does, but I'm talking about the percentage of the population, which is a large portion of the population that is unhappy what they're doing during the week, in a job, whatever. They're not getting where they want to financially, but they'll go and spend their entire weekend uh, doing a hobby that they can't afford, supporting a team that they're not even played for, or whatever the case may be, and this is going to get a lot of criticism in this video, and I, that's fine, but what I'm getting at is, if you used your time more efficiently, your results in life would become far greater, and uh, that's what I, I just sort of, just, uh, it was on my mind, I was just thinking, you know, we're, so, we're just so caught up in it here, you know, we're, you know, and it's awesome, we've got the America's Cup back here, it's going to be great for the economy, it's going to be great for Auckland, it's going to be great for New Zealand, um, you know, to be able to host that uh, whenever that's on next, you know, so, look, there's a time and place for all this stuff, but what I'm getting at is, if you're not getting the results that you want in life from a financial point of view, maybe put the rugby games to the side, maybe put the hobbies to the side, and actually go out there and do something over and above what you're doing right now, and then the results will come, so, thanks for listening in on camera, Stuart, it is absolutely horrific, uh, if you look at it here, it is terrible weather here <laughs> in Auckland. So have an absolute cracker. We'll see you again soon.